Hi guys to everyone, I'm Ada from Poison Drop and today, I don't know if there is a need of introduction or not, but I'm gonna say that we have with us the voice, if I can say for me at least, Milenko Matijevic. It's an honor for me. How are you Milenko? Hi, pleasure. Yeah, I'm well, thank you. Um, Amazing. Yeah, this Italian, stringi mi amore. From Italy, especially Ciao from mondo, Sicily. From Sicily, fatto. we are from the south. Okay. Yeah. That's nothing wrong. Sicilia. Yeah. The best pizza. Yes, yeah. I love it. And uh, as well it. dessert. <laughs> and well dessert. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How so, are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's been a warm summer. I have to say, we have 40 degrees at night. At the night, so it seems to be the only the only way to go to the beach. To just be what? cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or take your clothes off, right? Yeah, I am already like in pajama <laughs> almost. <laughs> That's okay. Take it all off. <laughs> and so let's go to the beach. Okay. Rock and roll. Always, yeah. always lifestyle. I want to start, of course, being of course everyone knows you. I don't want to say like, but of course we have to do like a proper interview. So I want to start mainly about speaking with you again. How started your journey? I mean, how you approach to music at the beginning? How did I approach music yeah. in the beginning? And, and singing. Uh, well, it you know, like any any artist or any um, art, it chooses you, you know. And when it chooses you, you have to either accept or not accept. And when you accept, you um, you have to fully accept, appreciate, and respect the gift. Otherwise, it gets taken away. Mm -hmm. So I've, um, you know, um, when I started, I was, uh, I think I was three years old when I first felt, you know, singing, I would sing to the radio. And um, mm -hmm. I would just, uh, it, it, it's the God started speaking to me then, you know, and it never ended. And it just kept growing and growing. And I've always had it in my heart and my soul. Um, it really was, I mean, it really, really was something that is from day one that I knew that's who it I am. Was your, it was crazy. Path. It was your path. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's my path. This is it. I yeah, mean, yeah, I know. I can uh, hear still now. <laughs> I can hear still yeah. now. It's your path for sure. And yeah, the, so that's yeah. that's how it happened. I just, you know, and I accept it and I, and I try to stay true to myself and true to the fans and true to my music. And, uh, you know, true to the art and respectful to my gift. Yeah, that's amazing. So. And of course, um, of course, most of people know you for being the lead singer of Still Art, which is one of the biggest band, at least for me, until today. <laughs> I started really early to listen to Still Art. And of course, I want to know, at the beginning, because I, for what I read and what I know, at the beginning, you didn't start immediately to be on the, on the scene. So basically, you play at the and we are the lot for a lot of years before releasing the two the first two albums. Um, yes, somebody's trying to call me. Let me get rid of them. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I will cancel. Me. I will, I will cancel this. There you are. Okay, uh, so well, yeah, yeah. Well, it, yeah, it took me forever uh, to, um, you know, it was crazy. You know, I, I was I started off when I was three years old singing to the radio, and okay. then it's at five six years old we started doing like Johnny Cash and. John Denver and all the country music wow. and then 
And then I discovered, I heard Robert Plant one day and singing Black Dog, and I was like, that's it. I'm oh, because that is one of the, your it, biggest influences. Yeah. Well, of course, he's great. So it, I, um, so that's when I started into the rock and everything. And then it yeah. took me, I got to say, it was the most insane thing in the world. We rehearsed and rehearsed and traveled and carried equipment and <laughs> sang in bands from 13 years old to, yeah. you know, till, till, um, till we got signed. And um, when I joined uh, uh, Chris and, and Jimmy, I was, uh, I think I was 16 you know, 16, 17. And then we rehearsed for 10, 13 years. So it's like, oh my God, in a room, it's like nothing happened. It's like no yeah. one saw us. No one believed in us. No one seen it. It was just ridiculous. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and um, but we never gave up. And um, we finally made a, a demo tape. We were actually signed to this other guy who kind of stole us, grabbed us and wouldn't let us out of, you know, out of jail, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, so we left, we left him, we made a demo tape. And one day I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to California, Hollywood and become a star. And uh, I literally said that to my dad. Um, <laughs> we we're at dinner and he asked me, what are you, what are you doing with your life? What's going on? And yeah. I said, I'm leaving Friday for Hollywood to become a star. And he what said, do it. What and what um, and I did. I literally went to California and uh, I had some meetings set up. I got lucky. I knocked on a lot of doors. Uh, also, you know, like uh, I went to, I remember to uh, different record companies and they kicked me out. And, um, but I um, met one manager there for the time being. And I was list, uh, actually manager and a producer. Let me be clear. And I sat with the yeah. producer and he listened to the music and he's like, wow, this is amazing. This is great. It was four songs. I think it was Sheila. Everybody oh, loves amazing. Eileen. I remember Sheila. She's gone. She's gone. And uh, okay. I'll never let you go. Uh, and the major it was already written. Yeah. And it was, there was, so when he heard it, he was like, wow, this is amazing. So yeah. then the manager came upstairs and he goes, hey, uh, you really need to meet this gentleman and you need to listen to his music. And the guy and the manager said, he goes, you know what? I'm sure you're great. You look great, but I can't, I can't accept any more, any more bands. I got, I'm too much, I have too many things, too many people going. I can't, I can't, I can't take on any more acts. And uh, the producer said to him, he says, no, I think you really need to listen to this. And he said, mm -hmm. finally, he said, okay, I'll tell you what, send the tape to me to New York City, to my office. So this was on a Monday, like about Monday. noon, okay. about noon. Okay. And so I gave him the, I, I gave me the address. I said, great. Thank you very much. I went immediately to FedEx and I overnighted the tape to him. And, uh, he had it on his desk when he showed up in the morning yeah. to New York, to New York. And he left me a message in my voicemail. I'll never forget. It was Angel Eyes, I'll Never Let You Go, was halfway through the song. It was in the chorus, and he said, you fucking prick, it's that good. You got to come in, we're going to talk. <laughs> so, like, what? so, that's Tuesday. Tuesday night, I come home, right? Wednesday, he asked me to come to New York. We came into New York Wednesday. We had a verbal agreement. Are you going to be my manager? Great. On Friday, 5 p.m., he calls me. You're going to be on MCA Universal records like, like, signed in, in five days two days that, that's two days when like... i met with him <laughs> when i met him on wednesday on friday at five yes. o'clock he calls me said you're gonna be on mca universal have a good weekend done and so yeah. so it's you know it's like anything that's years and years of work and practice and it just comes when the stars align and people things just come together and it just happens overnight but, you, but until then yeah but you keep on rehearsing for all these years you ever thought about all these years before signing to quit for example there was a moment that you was like i'm done with so no, no one uh, found out as you ever thought about that during the period yeah it's just it's just one person who had enough power to make a difference and he just mm -hmm. it was it was you know like i said it was in no time it was boom It, it happens 
because we were ready. We were ready for a long time. We just didn't connect with the right people. But hey, here we are 30 years later, touring the world, rocking the world. Yeah, yes, yes. And of course, it's a a long, it's a long journey, long path about still art, because of course, the two albums and then uh, yeah, yeah, amazing albums. They we can say they are part of the history of the art rock and the rock itself because it's impossible to deny it. Did, did you have some memories about that period? About I mean, like I don't know, any type of memories about because of course it was a, in LA was a especially a special period as well. Because you're speaking about the Sunset Strip period as well. It's just some moments, some something that you remember really with pleasure and with affection. In that. Um. You know, there's there's so many many things, um, and you know, when I get asked this question, I always I was like, hmm, I don't know, I can't remember. But then <laughs> later on, I'm like, oh yeah, um, you know, there's so many amazing moments. Um, you know, recording recording the yeah. album. You know, one of the most, I mean, you know, an artist it takes years of hard work and everything yeah. we do, and then when you finally get recognized and somebody really goes wow okay you really are that energy you know yeah it really is an amazing feeling i would say one was um the first time i heard my song on the radio and that was an absolutely i can't even describe to you a a self-accomplishment you know it's, it's not even just the accomplishment it's the acceptance you know, from the world and from the fans. So people say, wow, I like that. Yeah, so so cool. every artist feels that, you know. Yeah. So I would say that would be one of them. The other one would be uh, when uh, we're, uh, we're all in the hotel room together and we're watching MTV and um, the video was number two. It came up number two on MTV. That's a big deal back yeah. in those days, you know. Yeah. And uh, we're sitting there. We just mm. we just lost our shit, man. We we're just throwing around, <laughs> laughing, you know, yeah. high fiving. It was just it was just unbelievable. So I would yeah. say those are two beautiful the main, moments. Yeah, of course. And of course, I like you can say you came back uh, with weight. And of course, weight leads you a little bit with the times to being involved. Of course, because everyone as teenager saw that movie. Rock Star. It's the first movie that at least my generation see it uh, when you start to listen bro and you are at at the at the voice for my, most of the song how was this how uh, did you feel it when they proposed you to sing the rock star for the rock star yeah. um you know it was it was very interesting i um i was in connecticut at the time and i was on my literally i was on my way back to um los angeles and Tom called me, the producer, Tom Worman. Yeah. We did the second album together. And he said, he goes, he goes, hey, what are you doing? I was like, I'm coming back to LA to put a band together and, you know, get back yeah. my shit together and get out there. He goes, well, you know, I'm working on a project, pretty big project. And, and it's about a singer who is a great singer that he joins a band and, and they need a great voice. And I think you, you would, you're the guy. I think you could be the guy. Would you be interested to come audition? I was like, absolutely, sure. So uh, I landed at 11.30. I'll never forget, 11.30 a.m. I was in the studio by 2 p.m. By 3 p.m., they said, hey, you want to do this movie? <laughs> <laughs> so it happened. It yeah. happened really quick because I just went in and I sang my ass off. And, uh, and it was the rest is history. Yeah, you know. Was- those songs in that movie were at least with, uh, speaking with my people here in Sicily. It's like uh, kind of uh, everyone, you know, they were my cover band. Sing that we all the young. It's on the playlist. So and every time they right. are, they they maybe don't know who is the real singer behind behind that. So when they find out, it's like what the fuck? I'm sorry for the expression, right, right, but yeah. like yeah, it's like yeah, the world is open. And of course, of course, right. I'm, I'm not going to pass because I want to focus mainly on today. But of course, after um, that, you came to other albums, 2008 and then 2017. Uh, Good to be alive and true word of service. 
and mm. here I read that and at least there are some difference in the style of the sound in the sound of the movie. How? Well, well, first of all, let me go back really quickly because, oh, yeah, sure. as you know, um, the um, "We All Die Young" was on the movie, and that was from the Weight record. Yeah. And so we re-recorded that because the uh, the music director heard the song and they just flipped out. It's like we got to have this for the movie. And um, the reason why I'm mentioning that is because we just remixed, remastered that song. And it will be on a Steelheart 30th anniversary album coming up now. So the yeah. We All Die Young yeah. will be released, like, yeah. uh, I believe, in August. And it for fucking now, sounds amazing. For now, but okay. it's amazing. That's it's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. So coming back so, to the. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to the uh, Good To Be Alive album, um, Good To Be Alive album was a. That was. Wow, that was a, a insane journey. That was uh, rebuilding, you know, rebuilding Steel Heart again. Mm -hmm. You know, it was um, it was a lot of work, you yeah. know, to re rebuild the energy. And that album kind of wrote itself. Um, originally, it was meant to be an acoustic album, like a really okay. raw rock and roll yeah. acoustic yeah. album. And I, who knows, maybe I'll still do that. But uh, but then it you know then it turned into this big rock record <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> and um, but it was uh, it was different it had a little it had a lot you know more fire and yeah. it's just what it was it that's where it drove me you know what I mean and um, you know I'm not one of those people that write music to write what's happening right now so we can yeah. you know be a part of now I write music whatever comes through me you know. When when the gods speak to me, this is what it is, and this is what yeah. I it's create. Your feelings, or your emotions, your yeah. souls, your it's, energies, put yeah. in music. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's honest. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I guess that's the best word I can say. Yeah. So, and we did that record, and um, sadly, um, I had um, we had so many big plans for that record, but all my funding fell through, and that's why the record didn't do so explosive. Yeah. Because I I um, I paid for everything, but I ran out of money, and the and my backers ran. <laughs> they they yeah. it, it's, it's I don't fun. even want to tell you what happened with them. <laughs> That's a whole other story. But I lost my backing for the promotion side. Anyway, and then we did uh, through Worlds of Stardust, which I think that record is amazing. I really do. I think some of my best work. And. Um, Sadly, uh, the record company didn't do any promotion on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they didn't. They didn't do any promotion. Um, and that is not cool because some of those the songs on that record, there's some, I mean, like With Love We Live Again, Lips of Rain. I mean, there's mm -hmm. there's some yeah, absolutely are, beautiful. They are all in yeah. my, in my, what can I say, in my car when I drive. There's, I right. think through following your voice, Every time, every day, basically, since I'm 20 years old. I love it. More I than 15 it. years that I'm singing that your song, uh, not like you, of course. So, and of course, it the, doesn't matter. <laughs> before digging about um, the other projects and the present, and I um, personally want to ask you if there is one song, or maybe one or two, uh, up to you, of Still Art that you feel like yours, you have more affection for that song. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah every, no. every single one of them. There's not one song that is different or better than the next because every single song that has been written, uh, like I said, has been written honest, yeah. has been written from the heart, and it's been written uh, through the help of something greater than me. It's not just me, I'm the big cheese, it's something that's coming through me, and I'm paying attention, listening, and, and just going with it. You know, you have a gift that you in the world as it is, and well, this is what I do, yeah. yeah and I've been uh, listening to a lot of musicians, I interviewed a lot of singers, well, female, male, and all the time, there are people like, for example, after 30 years of singing, they say to me, I, I asked, for example, to a musician, How did you sing so well? and she said, Because I stopped for 20 years. For example, for singing, that's why my song is perfect. But you, Milianko, never stopped. So, 
tell me your secret. How your voice is still so fucking perfect after all this time. Well, it's a big fucking job. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's something of incredible because I, really there is no difference you. listening like in, in the life of Sheila and uh, in your last work. It trust and love is something that it seems that time never passed. Well, thank you. Um, the, what it is, you know, I honestly, I feel I could even do better. I know I can. And right now, me, my team, uh, my team and I, uh, we're working so hard to, to get me to this next point so I can literally be only in the studio and focus on okay. rehearsing and writing whatever I'm doing. The more I sing, the better I get the easier it gets okay when i'm you know doing a lot of interviews i'm on the phone a lot because right yeah. now it's a lot of business yeah. um it is what it is that's what today is you know being an artist today is not just being in you know an artist there's so many facets you have to uh, of uh, things yeah. you have to be so um one is no smoking okay i yeah, love my cigarettes away I, I love a good cigar once in a while and a scotch. Yes, absolutely. I'm not quitting that. But um, but I can't do that every day. You can't yeah. do that all the time because it really does hurt. Um, you got to keep the alcohol at a low level because it strips your throat. You know, it strips all the yeah. mucus and all, not the mucus, but the, the lining and stuff. It's not good yeah. for the throat. The drugs, you can't do the drugs. It don't work. You know, I've never done coke in my life. Why? Because I've heard so many singers and so many people regret doing it. And what it does, it goes through your nostrils and it burns and it burns your vocal cords. Yeah. And then it's... No. That's yeah. a disrespect. That's a disrespect to the gods, right? To my gift. So I can't do it. Okay. Um, and that's, I mean, basically that's what it is. I try to work out all the time. Yeah. Um, a lot of water and honey. I mean... I'm not boring, I promise no, you. I'm no, not no, boring. No. I'm a naturopath. I agree. You know, I agree. You know. Water. And once in a honey. while. Yeah. And once Even in a while, you know, water, we get hammered. <laughs> yeah. Warm water, honey, honey, and sometimes a little bit of uh, uh, we can say ginger, a little bit. Yeah. Can help. Ginger's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yes. So, and of course, yeah. Sorry. And and a lot of and just a lot of singing like i said the more i sing the easier mm -hmm. it gets yeah. and it bothers me when i can't sing more because i'm constantly you know working a business stuff I but that's find, the key yeah. i didn't find out i mean i'm personally just speaking to me because i listen to basically all this music for all my life i never never find out someone with your tone of voice i mean you can reach not that no i don't want to make name but no one in the same camp so it's my personal opinion, but this is what it is. Everyone who knows me out there knows that I've been waiting for this interview for maybe for, yeah, 15 years. Yes, okay. 15 so, years? Oh, yes. man. That's a long yes. time. I started interviewing yeah. when I was in my 1920s, so now I'm 35, so that's, it's a lot of time, yeah. So it took me, I can say that my passion took me to one of my goals, which is here today. And of course... Uh, you did right. a lot of a collaboration as well. Which one is the biggest, of course, the Doors? How was that? I mean, how all this start? I mean, how do you met the guy? And mm. I mean, how this and how, how was uh, it? Well, the, the Doors was a um, that was that was amazing. That was um, so I met Tom, their manager, mm -hmm. and I'm meeting him because um, he uh, I was looking for a new manager and I had uh, lunch with him. And we're at lunch and he's looking at me and he goes, you know, I manage this band, um, pretty famous band. They sold about 80 million records <laughs> and uh, we're looking for a new singer. And I said, I think you could be really good for that. Would you be interested in audition? I go, who's the band? He said, The Doors. <laughs> and I was like, The Doors? I was like, oh man. But understand this, I had a premonition Okay, I had a premonition okay. that I was going to do something completely different than what I'm used to. 
So I grew up with Van Halen, Led Zeppelin, yeah. Deep Purple, you know, all these bands, Black Sabbath. Okay. That was my genre, not the doors. That was a whole different, that was yeah. in high school. Those guys do the doors and we do Led Zeppelin. You know what I mean? So it was two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I heard the doors, I was like, fuck. Okay, there it is. There's the, excuse my language, by the way. No, anyway, no, no, there's it's, the, a, it's fine. You know, there is the, the twist. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yep, there it is. I said, yeah, sure, absolutely. And he goes, yeah, it's no big deal. You know, you probably know all the songs anyway. You just got to brush up. Honestly, I, I knew the songs, I've heard them, yeah. but I knew none of the songs. And um, so then I went back. I was living in Virginia at that time. I went home. And I'll never forget, I was in the living room. I'm listening to some of the um, some of the tracks. And I'm just learning, getting to know, you know, the energy, yeah. the spirits, the gods yeah. that created this. And I was like, oh, man, oh, whoa, this is a whole twist for me. How do I even fall in? And then it came to me. It's like, hey. You know, you're, you're, you're in it. You know, you got to do this. Just fall yeah. in. And I'll never forget. I was like, that's it. I accept. I got into my car. I was, it was a gorgeous area, you know, driving down through the uh, mountains and the, and the uh, mm-hmm. trees. And I, and I put the CD in and I'm listening to the songs. And I came to my studio and I sat in the middle. I had this big, huge room in my studio and I sat in the middle of the studio listening to music with my eyes closed and I can tell you whether I made it up or it's true or not doesn't matter it's my my reality but Jim showed up yeah you know mm-hmm. Jim Morrison he showed yeah. up he, he showed up and I yeah. sat there I was sitting there in this room in like, like tears you, yeah it's like in it's tears true, yeah it was like you do you in are you in i was like fuck yeah i'm in i'm in i'm we're doing this so i really focused and really connected with the spirit and um i went to uh la to do the audition i went in i sang one song i sang another song then he asked me hey can you sing another song sang another (laughs) one then we did light my fire and then the ending of you know fire Mm. that that last note and when I finish it, Robbie goes to me, he goes, because, bro, no one could ever do that fucking last note. Because that's amazing. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, it's not a big deal. But um, so I knew when I finished after mm-hmm. four or five songs, it was like, I knew it was it was, it, it was done, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, they literally called me an hour later. It's like, hey, would you like to do this? Join us. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then we went out and did two major tours. It was standing ovations every night i i we did 52 piece orchestras i have oh. some videos i mean it was um it was something to um you know what's the word uh it's a gift yeah. you know and it was absolutely um this is blessed. beautiful yeah thank you blessed. yeah it's yeah. beautiful You're blessed. Yeah. and i'm still friends with robbie That's i mean I'm very good friends with robbie we're doing uh we're actually filming um Steelheart, just quick. Steelheart is going to be in a movie, so I got the whole band. I'm I'm acting as one of one of the characters, uh, but the song "Trust and Love." That's what we're going to speak now fe- about now. Yeah, because it's a yeah. big piece of the interview. That's why I'm keeping to the last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get. But anyway, "Trust and Love" is yeah. the theme song. Is the theme song of the movie, oh. and the director loved this. Loved the song so much, he changed the name of the movie to "Trust and Love." Oh my god, yeah. yeah, because this is a, something amazing, Trust in Love. It's something we can say revolutionary, never will did it, d- done it before. It's a Guinness World Record, and especially it's, it's, yeah. it has a, a Sophie Anthropic soul, which is beautiful. And uh, yep. tr- I mean, I'll wait till you hear the Italian version. It, I'm, I'm, I'm on to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I read Stringi me amore. That's amazing. Because it's, yeah. I mean, how did it came to your mind to do all, I mean, this, all these books? It chose me. It chose me. You know, I was watching yeah. the news, you know, originally, I do a lot of work in Korea. I have a yeah. lot of a really strong connection with the Korean people. And uh, I was watching the news, you know, watching the news, the, the human trafficking, the, 
the yeah, uh, yeah. you know I'm gonna bomb you and the, and the threats and the things and I'm just listening I'm just going oh my god I gotta write a song I gotta see how maybe I can put put the peninsula together let me let me at least do something for them you know so I went to the piano and it was just literally just started writing itself okay. you know trust and love trust it just started writing itself and and then when I finished okay the English version. Yeah. Then we translated in Korean. I sang it in Korean, and I was like, you know, this is kind of like a big song. This is a bigger song than just that. I think the world could use this. So I said, well, I should sing it in my language. And, yeah. Yeah. So I said, I got to sing it in Croatian. I got to sing it. Yeah. I got to do it for my country because, you know, we had such, and such an awful war. Yeah. You know, we've, maybe we've I could been unify. Close, like Italy, yeah. A lot of people from Croatia came here as well in the darker period. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was awful. So then, you know, so then I sang it in Croatian and I was like, well, oh, shit, you know, Croatia's, you know, channel right across the street is Italy. <laughs> I got to sing it in Italian. So I sang it in Italian. I sang <laughs> it in, I swear to God, I swear I sang the Italian version in a half hour. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh yeah, half God. hour. <laughs> it was like, Blanco, you know, it was just so, it was so, I felt like Pavarotti. <laughs> yeah, I know why. I mean, it was silly, because but it probably all the traveling and the touring in your life had to do with the with the language as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. when I when I did it in span, uh, I mean, did it in Italian. I said, "Oh shit, I gotta do it in Spanish." So I did it in Spanish, okay. and then it's like, "Well, I gotta." Do, what about Asia? Because like, I gotta do Japanese. So then we did Japanese. Yeah. Then I was like, "Well, wait a minute. You know, China could really use this." So then I did it in Chinese. Yeah, no and mind. and Russian, Portuguese, um, mm. Hindi is beautiful too. Yes. I mean, yeah. all the languages. They, so they, there's ten, there's ten, and there's um, there's uh, there's five more I'm working on. So, okay, so that's, basically, every country will be we will have our own version. So we can, yes, we will challenge like I like your version or I like your version or I like your version. But as well, I saw well, like, I hope there so. is this a beautiful. Um, this video with these children and the candles it's something that in, involves a lot of uh, I don't know people it's it's like a global community of the sending this message of peace well that's that's why that's what it's written for it's the, yeah. the song is to bring people together to yeah. bring people together to raise our vibrations of thinking because uh, yeah. I really feel personally I feel there's a new world here we're already thinking on this yeah, level exactly, exactly. and then we get one guy to question us all yeah and now there's a war you know with with uh the putin and that and he is he is testing us all yeah you know now yes. you see what i'm saying He's cutting our gas for the winter i know we know the right. bills are high so, the gas is high we are facing it here yeah closely right so yeah so and we hope yeah So that's that's what the song is for. The song is to bring people together, to unify us. You know, to be, it's we. There's there's an there's there's a space for everybody. There's money for everybody. Yeah. There's love for everybody. It's about yeah. life, you know. And at the end of the day, um, it's about happiness. If you're happy, being a janitor, pumping gas, I don't care, or you're a yeah. billionaire. But if you're happy, yeah. you're winning. This is it, because. Yeah. If anyone can say this, I can, because I should have been dead in 1992 when the lighting trust fell on my head. I should have been dead. Okay, so I can honestly say at any moment it could go whoosh, gone. Yeah, yeah. So this is it. This is it. Me and you talking right now. Time's yeah. ticking. This you is had the strength to recover yourself from that traumatic experience and here to spread your message of peace. So let me just say it, not because. It's just you, but you're really an inspiration for a lot of people out there that maybe they give up to the first things, you know, like spoiled people, spoiled children, spoiled guys, just give up to their first ch uh, uh, challenge, the first mm -hmm. difficulties. So that you're like an inspiration for people to fight back and uh, fight back, but with peace, with the, uh, and uh, with calm, with the resilience, just bring them up because we have something beautiful that is the world. There is the nature. We have something that we are not aware, we weren't aware before the pandemic. Maybe now we have a little bit more of, of awareness. And 
with your message, with the message of, of a lot of people around the world, let's hope that really this will be like a new real era. But we can say you are, if people would like, for example, to contribute and do something for trust and love, for make it bigger, there's some way to do it, except a sharing and listening. Yeah, I, I you know, um, where there there may be, uh, there's a lot of talk about a, a, a really big concert, a few big concerts. Um, remember like Live Aid? And, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, I would love for this song to be, you know, the, the theme song for that. And a theme song, I would love it to be for the world. But it's this is something that you can't push, you know. Um, we can, you know, we're, we're doing the best we can to get it out there. And people mm -hmm. like you help promote it and it, yeah. it's not even promote it, it's just to have the people to hear it yeah you know exactly. to spread the message yeah. yeah but our challenge our challenge is is um that there are so many artists or not some of them don't belong to be in the music business but they're doing it anyway mm -hmm. for the time being i'm not sure if they're doing it for fun or doing it for ah what the hell if they can make it maybe i can make it yeah, yeah so yeah. then what happens you get 70 thousand people yeah. putting out records a day on spotify oh. so things get lost you know yeah. really and it yeah. takes a lot of energy and focus time yes. and money just to be heard so something that it should we're be, doing our yeah there should be yeah a way well, we're like, doing our part like there yeah yeah well we you know it's i i think I think we just we're just doing the best we can. We're just going to give it to the world and, and let see what life does, and see if the people if it touches the hearts and if it catches, you know. And I don't know. I wish that, and I hope that this is, this is going to happen because it's a beautiful message. And like everyone says, everyone always can say that the music is one of the things that connect us all, connect us all. No matter the language like, you speak, no matter what your ide uh, ideologies, this music connects. So this is. And the, this is. Yeah. Yeah. It, th this is this is my apologies if I interrupted, um, mm -hmm. but this is the um, the power of music. It's not yeah. just the artist. It's not. Mm -hmm. That's is this is where some you know artists may lose that fact of their ego. Okay, because. I, I can honestly say to you, it's not all me. I mean, yeah, I'm the channel. You know, I'm channel. I'm just, I'm the conduit. And that's what true art, that's what artists are. We're conduits to, for the people. You know, information. You know, this is where the true information right, comes. Yeah. You know, and um, yeah, that's, um, I, I would love nothing more to bring a little more of that back. Because yeah. that's what we had in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? The 80s was just fun, honest, yeah. you know, energy. Yeah. You know, um, and then it just started getting diluted and I, I don't know, you know, so and then too many people making music, too many. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're an accountant, be an accountant, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, a, like so. being, a, being a musician, I mean, a lot, like, like for all the fans that are listening to, you know, their heroes, their inspiration, there is always a message because it's like when you have, uh, when you are sad, you listen to that song that makes you feel better. So trans right. love like something like that. that for this mo especially for this part historical particular moment, it's a message that everyone it is a message. should listen and think that peace is possible. Maybe right. not completely no. forever, but it's possible. And we it's, it's like when we try to keep the environment clean. If it, I do my part and you do your part, everyone does a part, the environment is clean. But if yeah. I don't do it because the other doesn't do it, that we will have trash everywhere. So if I'm yeah, peaceful, it's just respect. I'm peaceful, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Respect. Respect is yeah. the base of the of a of a society. Yeah. And democracy well, as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's uh, honesty and respect. That's what I. That's what I. I think. You know, yeah. honesty and respect. If everybody's honest with themselves, okay, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and respect each other i think the understanding will follow yeah that's right because then the rest is easy but it's it's it you know there's as we all know it all comes a lot of people have uh, power issues you know they want to own they want to yeah. own people they want to own things they want to 
Yeah. It's it doesn't work, and we're we're witnessing it right now. I mean, exactly. with the war. I mean, it's just like yeah. Um, yeah. With a lot of war, yeah. But uh, war. it's it's yeah. But um, let me let me say something. See something really happy. How's this? <laughs> Oh my God! That I I wanted that logo on my fucking leather jacket that you had on your video. I always wanted to end it as well. But wait a minute! You do know that we have those jackets now. Really, with the two. logo on the back? Yes. I'm fucking I looking have, for that have... since 15 years. Girlfriend, we got you covered. How you like this one? That's amazing. I mean, I wanted to yeah. go to I don't know to print the patch and put it on the back, but we'll, I want to we'll like... send you something. Jamie, uh, if Jamie, if you're listening, make sure we give it to Darian so we could send her a T-shirt or something, something new and fresh. We'll get, we'll send you. Yeah. Thank you so but, much. Um, I will wear it day and night. <laughs> I will never yeah. take it away from me. I'm not joking. Since, uh, no, we do. We have, we have a, we have a, we have the Steelheart jacket, the original, my original. We did, we made replicas of that, which are legit. Then we have a new Everyone one. Everyone has made. to buy it because every time I saw it on the video I, and, and I saw people around here, you know, wearing like a yeah. leather jacket with different patches from different bands, I would say, why there's no one with the still art patch on the bottom? <laughs> <I> <laughs> always love it. I love like it. that, always. Yes, because in Sicily, a lot of people are loving your voice and you always. So I think that after this interview, there are at the end, they, there should be two greetings for two people they are they will probably will die when they see you say just hi it was like a huge mm -hmm. fan and then one of them helped me to find find you as musician and singer uh, but of course you say you mentioned before the 30th anniversary you are working on something new like album material yeah so because we i heard this. something I'm... so oh, i no, want to say it's, it it's... to you as well oh no it's legit it's done. Actually, oh, we're in mix yeah. mode. It's finished. It's recorded. We re-recorded. Everybody loves Eileen. We re-recorded, and it sounds, it sounds modern. It sounds crazy. It sounds really, really, fucking good. I think. We re-recorded uh, "Mama, Don't You Cry," I'm beautiful. and and she's gone. I got shivers when you mentioned that. It's beautiful. But but we recorded it with just piano vocals in a 40-piece orchestra well, it's something it's, that should be played in theater it's yes it is and i and there's a video that i want to make for she's gone especially which i'm not going to tell you because it's really awesome idea i think i, I really want to do this but it is um it's uh it's special it really is special you know a 40-piece oh, orchestra yeah the song is always yeah, when, or, when someone i broke with someone yeah. put that song and let's start over again <laughs> yeah, so I so I re I rewrote it. I rewrote it a little differently, but it's um it's it's like a uh, lullaby. So uh, I'm excited for the world to hear it. Uh, we also re-recorded um, "I'll Never Let You Go," acoustic mm -hmm. guitar, vocals, and right now we are uh, we are um, working on who's going to do the harmonies with me as a duet. Oh, there so, be a duet. so like it would be a yeah. woman or a man? Yeah, a woman. 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 No, it's got to be a woman. Beautiful. It's got to be. I mean, it can be a man. It doesn't. You know, if it, was, <laughs> if it made sense. But I think uh, I think a woman would be great. You know. Oh, and um, so we did that, and we also have "We All Die Young" that's been completely remixed and redone from the Weight record, and it sounds sounds really good. I I really All hope right. everyone. Well, uh, you know, that's, that's a song. Yeah. That's a song that, you know, I don't know. I'll give you a quick story. When, when the movie Rockstar came out, yeah. that song became the theme song of the movie. And, and that in the, the first week it was out, this, the movie was number two in the box office. Yeah. And it was really exciting because that song was the next single to go to radio to the world. And then nine 11 happened. Oh my God. So that week, that week, it was going to radio. And I truly feel that that song would have been at least a top 10 song, you know. Yeah. And uh, when 9-11 happened, President Bush at that time, um, he said, no songs on the radio that has the word die in it, kill or blood or anything like that off the radio. So it ruined the launch yeah. of the... Um, of the song mm -hmm. and it ruined the movie as well 
So 9-11 just ruined everything. You know, yeah. Ruined everything. Yeah. So, so we said, you know what? 30th anniversary, let's put it out. So it's and, gonna be a mix of a piece of orchestra, like a theater, classics, and then rock as well. It's gonna be like for any type of mood, we can say. Yeah, it's every time, and we and there's gonna be all the songs that are uh, the most um, popular, you okay. know, and uh, and that's you know that's what it is. I mean, there's uh, I did another song that I did. Uh, I made the video in Pula, Croatia, in the um, in the Colosseum, in an old. Uh, mm -hmm. old uh, Roman Colosseum. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy. I do, no, I no, do no, things that are like... <laughs> it's, 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 it's beautiful. I mean, I question it's beautiful country. Like, there should be to pay a oh. first tribute to your country as well. So it's an That's amazing right. nature as well. Russia has an amazing nature. So, yeah. And uh, this, this album is going to be out uh, you can say when or around? August. Yeah, well, we're going to do... so. We're just having a meeting on Monday, mm -hmm. and okay. I, originally we were going to release it on the 15th of September on my mother's birthday. But <laughs> your mom I, uh, well, my mom passed away years ago. She was my best friend, and and um, I dedicated this record to her and my brother because my little brother died also uh, a year apart, which is uh, just oh, really? really sad. Yeah, so she died in 1999. And he died in 2000. I mean, it was just... A tough period, yeah. Oh, it was just horrific. Anyway, so I dedicated this record to them. And, um, and uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going it, to... We're thinking about... So September 15th, either it's going to be a single. Okay. Um, but definitely one of the singles, either We All Die Young or I'll Never Let You Go on September 15th. Okay. And the album will be followed right after that, like maybe my birthday, November 30th, I was thinking. I'm in November too as well. Oh, are you? Oh, well. Okay, Sagittarius. I'm Scorpio. Middle. Okay. Okay, so before okay. ending, I just wanted to ask you just if, um, this is a quick question, this is a funny question, just to bring up, up a little bit up the, the, you know, the mood. If you have, like, for example, you are the organizer of a festival or a two, in which country would you like to have the festival and which band would you bring with you? Like even band from, I don't know, centuries ago would be Mozart. It's just like you, you are the other guy. What, what do you oh. like to do? Well, which country? Oh man, that, see, that, that's a question that is uh, pretty unanswerable because yeah. every country is beautiful. Every country okay. has a beauty, you know? Yeah. And And I, I have performed all over the world, and I can't remember a country that I didn't enjoy performing in, yeah. okay? Um, I, I'm being really honest. I mean, because I, yeah. I, I did all of Asia, and yeah, I played yeah. in places. I mean, I've been uh, India. I mean, I've been to most, uh, most places that your heart would sink just to Definitely. see how you know, beautiful. lifestyle, yeah. you know, no, I did the lifestyle and it's just painful. And, and then I've saw the most extravagant places and every, everything has such beauty to it, you know, yeah. but if I would do, uh, if I would be performing with another band that I would take with me, yeah, I think I would have to say Led Zeppelin. Yeah. That's amazing. You know? And yeah, and you know. just before ending, uh, just uh, a quick greetings to these guys, Hello Giro and Domenico, and to all your fans uh, around the world, and I hope to see you in some live soon. And um, wait, what, what was the first one? I... Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. You can Hello, say Carlo, Carlo. Carlo. Yeah, you can say. Okay, yeah. so, okay. Uh, so, Carlo is the, is, the, is the show? Is that what it is? No, it's the guy who showed me uh, your still art for the first time. Ah, to Carlo. Yes. Okay, yes. Carlo. All right, brother. Thank you, Carlo, for introducing me to this beautiful lady. And rock and roll. So um, what can I say? Um, you know, she has some nice things to say, nice things to uh, give to the world. Hopefully we could all work together and make something beautiful out of this we, let's crazy let's world hope. we're in. Let's hope. 
Thank you yeah. so much to you and Jamie for this amazing opportunity of making one of my dreams come true. Thank you so much. Okay. And make sure you make, make sure you give her the address. We'll send you some. Okay. okay. Thank you. I will write her soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Have, have well, a good yeah. evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stay because your next interview is here. Okay. I am. Okay. I'm so She's gone. to blame I was so untrue I can live without the love in my life there's just an empty space all my dreams are lost I'm waiting Let